Hey guys, Sarah here for a new pen day video. Um, I recently bought a couple pens off Gumtree, um, second hand in a sense, but actually this one and another one were new. Um, and this is the first that I'm going to show you guys today. So this is a Zizo, which is a brand I really don't know anything about, but I just like the look of it. I love the gold accent and I wanted to try a, a metal and heavier pen. I've really been in, I'm enjoying using my Traveler's Company brass, which is on the heavier side. And so I wanted to explore this and I just quite like the look. So this is the Zizo Phantom. This is the, the gloss black, um, which is a, a limited edition. And this is the nib there. Just make sure I'm in focus. It's a fine nib. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if they what sizes they go by, but look, it's a, a smaller nib where that's a size five um, or a comparative two. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's a cartridge converter pen, and I've already inked it up and if you can't see there, it says Zizo Germany, so a German brand. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick rundown of the pen and then some size comparisons and we can come back and then look at it, um, do a writing sample. So I'll do some size comparisons in a second. But as I said, it is um, a metal pen, black gold accents, no finials, definitely on the heavier side. Uh, touch heavier than the brass travelers company if you don't like heavy pens it's not going to be your jam um, but even though it's heavy it feels quite nice in the hand um, I guess it, it, it can post it doesn't feel overly secure and I do think it makes it quite back heavy so I would um, be recommending using it unposted screw cap um, but not many turns it, it feels quite nice the clip uh, I mean, I'm not really someone who clips my pens. It's quite stiff, but I think therefore actually would work if that makes sense. And as I showed you before, I'll do another close up of the nib and I'm not going to take the cartridge out, but it's a, a Zizo branded cartridge, pretty standard, not much to say about it. All right, let's do some size comparisons with it capped and I'll just make sure I'm in frame. So we'll put that one in the middle. Uh, this is it next to a Jinhao 80. That's the Traveler's Company, um, which is obviously a pocket pen, and then the Twisby Eco. So if you look at these three, size-wise, length-wise, you know, quite comparative, uh, very similar, um, and quite a similar width or girth to, to both of them as well. If we go to uncapped but for the traveler's company because it's a pocket pen i'm going to put it on the bottom there um it does actually come down to be on the smaller side i consider this to be on the smaller side but i like that because i have tiny hands so once you cap the traveler's company pen it becomes a bigger pen put that to the side for now and let's really just look at these three so on the left, we have the Jinhao 80. That's got a Lamy nib on it. Um, and then on the right, on my right here, the Twisby Eco. So uncapped, you can definitely see it is the smallest of the three. Comparable, I guess, to the Jinhao 80. And if I was to line up the nibs, um, you can also see that it has the smallest section. So if that's something that really bothers you, something to think about, I don't mind it. This size pen feels really nice. And because it's weighted, it actually still feels quite balanced in the hand. The threads there, I don't feel at all. Um, they're, they're really nothing. There is also a tiny little step up, but again, I just don't notice it because most of the weight is coming this way through the hand. It just feels really nice to hold. Two-tone nib, which also I think just looks pretty. Just trying to see next to the Lamy nib. So same size, obviously different shape. It's a bit wider, um, but quite comparable to that pen. So sorry, this isn't, this is the Lamy, this is the Jinhao 80 with a Lamy nib on it. But let's have a look at what we're all here for, which is a writing sample. So got my little my little guide underneath so I can try and do the same thing. This is inked with Birmingham Pen Company's Waterfront Dusk, just for your reference. Ooh, did I leave it open too long? That 
yep, that's not the pen. That's me. I've had it uncapped for quite a while. So I think you can tell that it is a, a German fine. Um, I think a, a Japanese fine um, is noticeably thinner than that. I don't mind. I think it's got a really nice, <coughs> pardon me, feel to it. The thing I want to try and be able to articulate about this pen is it's got a really nice wet flow, but the pen definitely has some feedback. It is not gritty. It is not scratchy. It is not unpleasant. I actually think it's really present pleasant. I have never um, tried a, a sailor pen, but I do know people um, talk about feeling almost like it writes like a gray lead pencil or a, pe a pencil. You just really, it has a presence on the page and you can really understand it. I, understand it's the wrong word you know what I'm trying to say feel it and that is actually how I would describe this almost like writing with a pencil but a really really nice pencil and that still is has a really really nice flow to it so if you like pens that have a bit of feedback I think this could be your jam it's I really really like it I'm not sure if you can hear it I'll do in a second is um, I'll try and do some fast writing to see if it comes up a bit more, but how about I actually tell you guys what it is? This is the Zizo Phantom in black, and it has a fine nib. Oh, I just smudged it. Sorry. I don't know who I'm saying sorry to. So, downstrokes. It's definitely a, a stiffer nib, no bounce, don't mind. Um, that's immediate, and now let's go five seconds. So you can see it's getting a good ink flow there, flow there. Now, I'm going to try and write fast and hard to see if I can uh, accentuate that, that feedback sound that I'm talking about. Hopefully that works. <laughs> if not, that's just my messy, messy writing. Um, I really love this, guys. I think it's awesome. The black, I think, has, has been what they do is with their phantoms from what I've researched is they have, because it's a limited edition, they'll release different, like, colorways, and then they say that the previous one has been retired. So the black is retired, um, but, yeah, I'm sure they pop up on, on eBay and, and Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace, etc. I'm so, I, I was umming and ahhing. I didn't know anything about this pen before I bought it, um, but I just really liked the look of it and I watched one or two YouTube videos and I went, you know what, it was the right price. The person who sold it to me, they'd only ever um, dip tested it and it just wasn't for them. Um, so I'm so happy I went with it because I really, really enjoy it. And I, I'm happy that I am learning to like heavier pens as well because I always thought I wasn't going to be able to because I have small hands, but um, I stand corrected. So... Um, I'm going to have to finish up here because I film before work now and I should probably go and start my work day. This is the Zizo Phantom Black. It has a fine nib. It's inked with Birmingham Pen Company's Waterfront Dusk, um, a metal pen, a really interesting feedback. Oh, I forgot to say. Can you see there? So because it's a limited edition, it's actually numbered as well. So this is number 165 uh, from 2017. Anyway, I'll keep going with my wrap-up. Really excited to have this as part of my collection. Um, and, yeah, if you have a Zizo pen, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below because I, I want to learn more about them. I'm really enjoying this as a writing experience, so could definitely see myself adding another one to my collection one day, hopefully. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll chat to you again soon. Bye.